Hello. Today I'm going to take you on a tour of my middle garden. This is the garden where everybody gets to spend some time in. Even the kids, as you can see, have a trampoline for the kids on the lawn. They are still quite young and they like to play on a trampoline. That's my husband's shade with all his tools. And I try to make it pretty, so we'll go and have a look at the shed. Got a new pot hung, one of those flat pots with some uh, tracky, tracky, tracky cock. I can't say the name. Ha. Anyway, some of those daisies. And then a geranium, center leaf one, pink capricorn, and some diastia, orange. Another geranium, which I can't remember the name of it. Pelargonium. And here I have a homemade sedum and sempervirum planter. It's just a wooden frame with a, some plywood at the back and then put some soil on top. Kept them upright until they got well rooted and a net for the top and then planted the, the cuttings of the sempervirums and sedums without roots not to put through the net. Kept the pot, the planter uprooted. Uh, um, Right until they were rooted, and then they hung them on the shed just by one nail. You can see there is a screw there. Where is it? Yeah, just behind us, see them there. That's the only thing that's hanging it up. I think it looks quite effective. And then I have another wooden box that I asked from a garden center. It's just all my cow pruned shrubs, the neonimus there, a uh, dogwood there, a variegated one, cornus, uh, another conifer, there was just a big blob before, but I didn't like it, so I pruned it. Here I got all the pots along the wall. Oh, nice iris here. Look at it. It's a beautiful view. Some mimulus. I've got another beautiful iris over here in the pot. Black crema cook, I think it's called. Something like that. Anyway, some cerinte and the mimulus. Persicaria, purple fantasy, and red dragon. Both planted in the same pot, looking very nice together. Um, and this is Creek Creek Nodendron. The Chinese lantern tree still got some flowers and started to see seed as well. It's got a nice seed pot there. Some steel bay in the pot. And the Calictrum, a yellow one. This beautiful primulas. Candelabras there, orange ones, and a stinking iris, and a golden leaf spirea with a big flower. This here I have a bay leaf, and then I planted some. I'm trying to prune it as a standard, and I planted some geranium, dog growth pink at the bottom of it. And there I have a fuchsia in a pot. I had a fuchsia with pink, pink, pink leaves. I like it. Okay, so in here there's a lot going on. All these astrantias, well, most of them, apart from this one here, which is Astrantia Roma, that one I planted and I bought, but the rest of them are just self, self sown seeds from other astrantias I had. And I just like the way they come through that pieris, just grow through it, and the, the peony there. And this is all where I have all my hellebores. I just love their leaves, they look really nice now. And if you look in here, see, I got a dahlia, it's still in its pot and it's flowering happily. But these hellebore leaves hide the pot, and you don't see the pot, all you see is that beautiful dahlia there. 
that's a good way of filling in gaps where there's not fl very much flowers because obviously hellebore is flower in February, March so that's an idea here I've got uh, some nice stilby I can't, I don't know the name of it some nice orchids and then Tradescantia, my lovely blue one and that's a um, um, Fox club, the one with the chocolate colour flowers. There's loads of layers in here. I have this geranium. So you can see this wee border, it's just a tiny little border here. I've got some some thyme and then I have a skinia and then I have some primula candelaria that's finished flowering and then I have some prunella that's coming into flower. Some hot geraniums there, two different ones, and I have a primula, and then some self sown poppies, and some self sown astrantias, and then this foxglove, the astilbe, tradescantia, the orchids, another hardy geranium, this one is Bob's blunder, and some orchids that just come through, and in the spring I have some daffodils coming through. I got a, a lovely, I can't remember the name of it, another plant that likes kind of shade. This is kind of shady. Then I have some lamium, the self seeded, and another one in here. It's a pulmonaria, blue enzyme that flowers in spring. It's in just a little border. It is about, let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven feet long by two feet wide. I got all those plants. Okay, moving on. I only have two minutes fifty one, so we'll just look to a few to a few other things here. I've got some bumblebees, loving the astrantias. And there, that beautiful lily is called Nettie's Bride. And again, that is in the pot. You can see the pot there. So it's just again filling a gap there. And I think it looks lovely with this lace, black lace sambucus, which is almost finished flowering. It's got a few flowers left. It's stunning. And I have a pieris in there. It looks lovely in spring with the bright red, red leaves. And a beautiful pink peony and hellebores. Achalegia, a blue Achalegia that's finished flowering, some hosta, um, azalea, a sedum just, just coming into flower now, another Achalegia here with a purpley flower, looks lovely, a, a lovely pestemon, it's full of flowers, it's just coming, some campanula, more self sown astrantia, another campanula at the back here just coming into flower. And loads and loads of loads of volumes. It was lovely. Why do you know and, me, Mom? Did you put some 